You ask, we answer. My name is Pascal Confavreux and I'm here to take your tough questions on the French presidency of the EU Council. Let's dive in. Question one, what does EU 2022 FR mean? Well, first, let me say that French and Europeans have a special love for acronyms, almost to a fault. This one is shorthand for the French presidency of the EU Council. It happens every 13 years, and it's both a great honor and a big responsibility. We've been preparing it for the last four years. What are the long-term aims of the French presidency of the EU Council? It's all about the European citizens having more control onto their own destiny and with a firm grip. In economics, it means reindustrialization, it means fostering innovation to help for climate change or for the digitalization of our businesses or to protect their consumers and their data. In foreign affairs or defense, in an era of tough leaders voting to gain influence on in the international scene, it means for the European Union to have the means to defend its own interests and its citizens. And we strongly believe that a stronger Europe is good news for the US. Number three, can you give us some example of what the EU can achieve? We tend to forget it, but we have lived for the last 70 years in peace in continental Europe, and this is a major, uh, major result, a major success. More recently, the Euro is also a great success on the economic field, and Erasmus is a program that every European student knows and likes. It helps students to study in different universities from one European country to another. During the pandemic, it has been also the case. Uh, we have fostered the production of COVID-19 vaccines on the European continent. We are producing, for instance, 300 million doses a month now, and we have exported 1.5 billion doses abroad, which is a sign of European solidarity uh, within European countries, but also with the rest of the world. And second, during COVID, there has been a huge European solidarity uh, on the economic field, where we are protected both the jobs and the businesses. Oh, this one is an important question for us. How does the French presidency affect the relations with the US? During these six months, France is taking the baton of the EU. It means that there is a lot of continuity. It means that we are also a honest broker to push some text in which we believe, such as digital market access text, for instance. For the relation with the US, our first and strongest ally, we share strong economic ties, we share values, and when we want more sovereign Europe, we bear it with the US in mind. And how does France plan to address the border issue? What we might tend to forget is that there is also a strong external border around the EU. We have done a lot to re-raise the impact of borders within the EU, but the external borders of the EU are real. Take the little town of Nava, for instance, between Estonia and Russia. You see here, what a border is. And there's also the question of solidarity between the EU member states. And one might forget when there is threats on the fringes of the European Union that if one member state is attacked, there is solidarity with the 26 others. Next, how do you define a French versus a European identity? Well, there is a multi-layered identity in Europe. You can be from a local town and have a local identity and then be French and European. Um, and this European belonging is growing. And all of them are complementary. And I've noted it's a bit the same in the US. You can be from a city like Houston and Texan and American. Well, with the downside though, that there is no EU socket in yet. Oh, I like this question. Is there a European dream as there is an American dream? Yes, we have our European heritage. We have our founding fathers. Following World War II, leaders like Jean Monnet took risks to create a collaborative community of former war-torn countries. Today, we still defend this dream and apply it to our modern challenges. The EU strives to defend its EU member states and to defend its citizens. We have the means to make the EU a democratic and cultural power, a power of balance and a power of the future. This is our dream and this is a dream that our generation has to make for the future. Oh, this is something. Can you change the name of the EU Council? Before we tear down that name, maybe we should try here at the embassy to do something to make it easier for you to understand. 
Look at that. The EU Council, it's where the EU member states has the voices. The European Parliament is where the citizens have their voices. And the Commission represents the administrative body defending the European interests. But as far as the official name goes, well, changing it is far above my pay grade, I'm afraid. If you have any more questions that were not addressed here, please pose them in the comments below. Thank you very much and see you soon.